Hey guys, welcome back to Foreign Reacts. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled Finland's plan for a tunnel to Estonia. So we know Estonia uh, is really tight with Finland, really buddy buddy, uh, Sweden likewise, but um, we're going to be checking out this video right now and I want to make a huge disclaimer. I'm actually living in Finland um, for the ones who probably don't believe because I, I got some somebody commenting that I'm not in Finland. They don't believe me. I'm just going to show you something I purchased yesterday. And if I was in America, I'm pretty sure the language on this would not be this. These are eye drops. You can see it. Let me get that focus going. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's English, right? And um, this right here should one of them is Swedish and one is Finnish, because obviously in Finland, you have two languages that matters, and that is Finnish or Swedish. So obviously, Finnish and Swedish will be on the package. So if y'all think I'm not in Finland, good for you. Um, this is this is some nuts. You can see it, some nuts. I don't even know what else I can show y'all that I'm not in America. Um, uh, I don't know. I really don't know what I can show y'all right here. But um, the point is, I'm living in Finland. Uh, go check out the channel called Geo Boss. Uh, it's G I O B O Z Z. Uh, click the link in the comment section to see the channel. I make vlogs about Finland, my life here in Finland. So we'll check them out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. I've said enough, and um, let's get right into the video, guys. I do hope you guys enjoy. If you're not new to, if you're new to Foreign Reacts, subscribe and uh, leave a like on this video. And if you're not new, Welcome again. Uh, thanks for being here. And Estonia are planning to construct a $15 billion tunnel across the Gulf of Finland, connecting the capital cities of Helsinki and Tallinn. The Gulf of Finland is a shallow body of water stretching 400 kilometers east from the Baltic Sea, separating Finland and Estonia, along with their respective capitals and largest cities, Helsinki and Tallinn. At its narrowest point, the water separating Helsinki and Tallinn is only 50 kilometers wide, with an average depth of only 38 meters. For this reason, a tunnel between the two cities is being explored. The idea for a connection between Helsinki and Tallinn has existed for a while. However, for most of the past century, the idea seemed too large for its usefulness, there were no obvious funding sources, and Estonia was part of the Soviet Union, who had invaded Finland in 1939, spoiling relations between the two countries. Then, in 1991, Estonia gained independence from the Soviet Union. In 1995, Finland joined the European Union, and in 2003, Estonia joined as well. The countries were finally united. Since then, passenger numbers on the Helsinki Tallinn ferry line have increased significantly. The ports of Helsinki and Tallinn are not. Yo, y'all, y'all, let me know. Uh, but like I said, I'm in Finland. I, I want to make vlogs and I want to go up about Finland, Sweden, Norway, and them boys, Denmark too, all them, all them countries, right? But um, how do I go about doing that? Like, what's the like? Y'all can just reach out to me, emails or Instagram. Y'all need to read the description of the video and you can find the most important things in the description of the video. You gotta, you gotta click the description and read, guys. But um, reach out to me because I definitely want to actually, you know, check, check it out over there in Estonia. And a lot of people don't talk about Estonia, but it, it, it's a country over there, man. The first and third busiest passenger ports in the world. Wow. In 2017, more than 9 million passenger trips were taken between the cities, nearly 25,000 a day. Many of these were Estonians commuting to work in Helsinki and Finns commuting to work in Tallinn. With Finland and Estonia united through the EU and passenger numbers between Helsinki and Tallinn quickly rising, the idea for a tunnel between the cities was seriously explored. On April 2nd, 2014, a 100,000 euro preparatory survey for a tunnel was announced, and by February 2015, it was complete. On January 5th, 2016, the government of Helsinki and Tallinn created the FinS Link, an initiative to improve transport links and mobility between the two cities. As part of it, a further feasibility study focusing on the tunnel's geological and socioeconomic effects was announced. 
Then, in May of 2016, a company called Fin Est Bay Area Development was co-founded by Finnish entrepreneur Peter Visterbaka with the intention to build the tunnel privately. By February 2018, Finest Link had finished its final feasibility report on the project. Its design includes two machine board rail tunnels, each 10 meters in diameter, along with a central 8 meter diameter service tunnel. These tunnels would be 35 meters apart and would connect occasionally. They would stretch 92 kilometers, connecting the Helsinki Vanta Airport in Finland to the Ulemeste Passenger Rail Station in Estonia. The rail line would have four main stations, three in Finland and one in Estonia. The rock bored out to make the tunnel would be used to form two artificial islands, building off the tiny Finnish island of Upo Luoto and the shallow Estonian reef of Tallinna Matal. In 2018, Finest Link estimated the cost for the tunnels, stations, and terminals would be between 13 and 20 billion euros and that they would take around 10 to 15 years to be constructed. The same year, Finnest Bay Area Development came up with its own, more ambitious plans. It would construct two 17-meter diameter machine board tunnels stretching 100 kilometers between the Helsinki and Tallinn airports. Each tunnel would contain two rail tracks along with additional space. Here is Peter Visterbeka explaining why. Why is that big? A train is not 17 meters. No, no, we can put a lot more into the tunnels and, and that's also, uh, again, uh, part of uh, future proofing the whole thing. So <laughs> You can tell Buddy Finnish. <laughs> Whenever a Finn starts to speak English, you know they're Finnish, bro. Like being here, I, like I know a lot now and, you know, I can expect a lot when I hear a Finnish, so, you know. Tunnels are not built for 10 years, but like hundreds of years. And, you know, who knows what technology will be available in like 2050 or, you know, uh, something like that. So maybe somebody comes up with this mega loop technology and it's almost like teleportation, but it needs, you know, a bit more space. So then we have the space. The two massive tunnels would result in the excavation of 45 million cubic meters of rock. For comparison, the three smaller tunnels would result in the excavation of 19 million cubic meters. All of this rock would be used to construct two artificial islands like the other design. However, the Upoluoto Island off Finland would be massive, covering an entire square kilometer in the shape of a star. It would serve as an entertainment destination and would have its own rail station. Finest Bay Area Development estimated this tunnel would cost between 15 and 20 billion euros. They hope that by using 12 boring machines launched from land and both directions of the islands, the tunnel could be finished in only five years. Pretty ambitious. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty ambitious. Veke, sisustajan huonekalukauppa. Yeah, that's pretty ambitious. And yeah, that's that's finished ad. So anybody who's thinking that I'm not in Finland, don't be silly. But um, yeah, that's pretty ambitious. I love to see something like that. I love engineering and um, it's something that I really do uh, uh, enjoy learning about and actually taking part in. I've never really done major engineering, like taking part in it, but you get the point. Um, but um, this is really ambitious. Five years. Woo, that's crazy. The tunnel designs would use 1,435 mm gauge rail tracks, which is what most of Europe uses, but neither Finland nor Estonia does. The reason yeah. for this is that a Helsinki Tallinn tunnel would connect to Rail Baltica, a massive underway rail infrastructure project to link the Baltic states and Finland to the rest of Europe. Rail Baltica is part of the EU's trans European transport network making it very likely that a Helsinki Tallinn tunnel would get EU funding. If a tunnel was constructed between the two cities, it would have many advantages. First of all, the ground below the sea is solid granite, which is great for tunnel boring. A tunnel would replace a long and costly ferry system, turning a two hour long ferry process into a 30 minute long train ride. In addition, it would essentially make Helsinki and Tallinn twin cities, forming a cross-border metropolitan area. It would connect the 1.3 million people in Helsinki 
to the 445,000 in Tallinn, Tallinn, boosting passenger and freight traffic by approximately 30%. The tunnel would drastically improve connectivity between Finland and the rest of Europe, and could potentially make Finland a gateway between Europe, the Arctic, and Asia. Lastly, it would serve as the longest undersea railway tunnel in the world. However, the tunnel does come with some issues. The four ferry lines operating the busiest passenger ferry route in Europe would lose the majority of their business forcing them to lay off hundreds of workers. However, yeah. the main concern is whether the tunnel is really worth its cost. The feasibility study from 2014 calculated that by charging passengers and freight the same tolls as the ferries, the tunnel could be completely paid for in 40 years. That's not bad. However, that means keeping the expensive ferry tolls and using billions of euros which could be spent on a project that pays for itself faster. Still though, with passenger traffic continuously growing, the benefits seem worth it. In March of 2019, the Finest Bay Area Development Company signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the Chinese company Touchstone Capital Partners for 15 billion euros of funding. This has proven controversial though. It's worried that the tunnel could become part of China's Belt and Road Initiative and could be used for debt trap diplomacy. In July 2020, Finest Bay Area applied to begin development. However, officials believe it has failed to complete adequate feasibility studies and is too optimistic, and have denied the application. Still though, the support is there. The tunnel design is just not ready yet. Within the next decade, the helsinki tallinn tunnel will likely begin construction. Once complete, it will unite the two cities, boost passenger traffic, and better connect Finland to the rest of Europe. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you truly enjoyed it, buddy. I'd really like to see something like that happen. I don't know if it's possible in terms of financially. Obviously, everything is possible when you put the work in, but um, financially, you know, you're looking at uh, like businesses and all of that. They're going to lose a lot of money doing that. You're going to lose a lot of money making something. And uh, like, it just doesn't, it's not the feasibility study, like he said. It, it just doesn't seem feasible at all. But um, it's pretty cool. That's for sure. But um, yeah, whatever they do, um, all the best. You know, Finland's a great country. Estonia, I don't know much about it, but obviously pretty chill and pretty great country as well. But um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, learned something like I did. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.